this is old degradation what happens here in this reaction the change is shortened the length of the monosaccharide decreases length of the monosaccharide decreases means aldohexose is uh, uh, converted to the aldohexose converted to the aldopentose that means six carbons monos monosaccharide is converted to the five carbons monosaccharide so this is again called as chain shortening reaction so d aldoses are converted to the d aldopentoses so this is called old degradation the reaction the general scheme of this reaction is represented here in the first step in in this reaction and what are the steps included in this old degradation are given here so we'll discuss one by one now the example is taken as a glucose uh, probably no uh, everybody everybody knows the structure of glucose which is differ uh, or the hydroxyl group is the configuration is changed only at the carbon number 3 1 2 and 3 this is carbon number 4 this is carbon number 5 i use different color so the carbon number 1 so this is carbon number 1 so this is carbon number 1 and this is carbon number 2 you see here i'm using red color so here the cleavage the bond breaking process taking place here between this carbon number and this carbon so you have to remove this portion so if you are removing cho what left choh and this new that means the carbon c2 c2 is converted to the aldehyde group so what if you want to write this reaction in one step you remove aldehyde group and come to the next carbon and convert that carbon into aldehyde group so this is converted to the aldehyde group and whatever configuration is left i mean which is at carbon number 3 carbon number 4 and carbon number 5 you keep as it is so you will get your answer so what happens in old degradation so the in old degradation the whole reaction is taking place in between carbon 1 and carbon 2 or the cleavage takes place here in between carbon 1 and carbon 2 and rest of the molecule remains same no change in configuration so you have to break c1 and c2 remove that aldehyde group and prepare new aldehyde group at carbon number 2 and just join remaining portion as it is you will get the answer so because of this if you do this reaction like this with glucose the glucose is converted to the arabinos which is aldopentose so in this way this reaction works but this is a step wise preparation or the step wise reaction uh, which is called chain shortening reaction so we will discuss that steps included steps one by one so the first step is what so you take monosaccharide here i have taken glucose and you treat with hydroxylamide so the i hope all of you know the very popular reaction condensation reaction after nucleophilic addition so you can see here new uh, this portion is removed so when hydroxyl amine is treated you just it is reacting with carbonyl carbon or the carbonyl group remove that water molecule i remove that water molecule and join them together so this is condensation reaction so h c n o h so you get here oxide just you discuss in uh, we discuss in uh, aldehydes and ketones so this type of reaction taking place always first step is a condensation reaction where oxide is produced now step break step number 2 so this is our step number 2 what happens you are using acetic anhydride so this this uh, this molecule is called acetic anhydride and sodium acetate and the reaction is dehydration dehydration means you have to remove water molecule so water molecule means what you just put here triple bond in between carbon and n and remove this portion and this portion so water is again removed from here to get cyanide so this cyanide this oxide is converted to the cyanide after dehydration and dehydrating agent is acetic anhydride in presence of sodium acetate so you get here a water molecule and you just have to prepare this oxide into 
uh, cyanide. So this if cyanide means having cyanide in hydroxyl group, it is cyanohydrin. So oxime is converted to the cyanohydrin. So still uh, up to this step, there is no loss of carbon. But now this carbon is lost when this is treated with sodium methoxide. Now you have to focus on carbon number two, uh, which I have shown this bond is as if moving in between this carbon and this carbon to get aldehyde group and this cyanide portion of this cyanohydrin is removed. So if this cyanide portion is removed, this EH will go and join there. In fact, EHCN is removed. So hydrogen cyanide is removed and the double bond is produced in between this carbonyl carbon and this oxygen which I have shown here. Here, it, here the linkage between carbon and carbon 2 is taking place in this mode in this step and we get our uh, 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 aldopentose that means arabinose after removing that SCN. So in this way you have to perform this reaction by using hydroxylamine then second step uh, reagents are acetic amatride and sodium acetate and finally you have to remove HCN by using this kind of arrows and the reagent is sodium methoxide. So in this way hydrogen cyanide is lost in the final step and it is converted this group carbon 2 is converted to the aldehyde group and we get arabinol and if you want to write the answer directly you can write like this also so we'll discuss one 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 important part of this wall degradation where we will take two epimers you know epimers are are the isomers are the diastereomers which are having a different configuration only at alpha carbon the rest of the asymmetric carbons having similar kind of configuration. So what happens when old degradation is performed with two molecules which are epimers? Now uh, we'll discuss it. Now we'll see what happens when the old degradation is performed with galactose and these D-tallos. D-tallos. Now we will not follow all this, we will not show here all these three steps, but we will convert it uh, into the final product. What is the idea? You have to just perform this reaction. You have to break this bond, C1 and C2 and remove aldehyde group and whatever carbon is here, you convert it into aldehyde group. So I am going to convert this carbon, this carbon into aldehyde group. So if I do that, this you have to write as a CHO. So this is converted to CHO and keep all remaining portion of this molecule as it is without any change. So I'll write that OH. So the next is OH toward this side, EH, OH toward this side and this EH and OH. So we get this after the conversion. So this is called D lixose. So this is this is called D lixose. So when we perform old degradation with galactose, it is converted to D lixose. And what happens when we perform this reaction with tallose? So I'll focus here only at carbon number two because this carbon number two is going to convert into CHO group. So I convert it into CHO group and keep the rest of the molecule as it is without any change and let us see what happens. So this is carbon number 3. Don't change the configuration in old degradation. You have to just cleave the bond between C1 and C2 and this is OH. What is this? So this is again d lixose we get here d lixose so d tallose is converted to the d lixose and uh, d galactose is also converted to d lixose then what is relationship between d galactose and d tallose you can see uh, this d tallose and d galactose are what d tallose and d galactose you can see this portion is similar in both monosaccharides only change in where this is the next carbon to the carbonyl carbon so the alpha 
So these two are actually epimers. So epimers, epimers having different configuration only at alpha carbon. So when we perform whole degradation with epimers, we get same product. We get same product or we get same aldopentose. So this was the observation. So that that's why uh, we can convert two epimers into one monosaccharide into one monosaccharide by using old degradation where one carbon will be less. Thank you so much.